people don't necessarily realize that they just think, oh yeah, there's this healthcare system out there that will always take care of me if I need it. And you know, the way things are going, that, that may not be the case. Already this year, Indiana has broken a pandemic record for COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. And WRTV's Nikki Dementri learned we could still be weeks away from the peak of this surge. You're seeing doctors racing around, seeing patients, addressing acute emergencies such as collapsed lungs, uh, doing procedures. Eskenazi Health's Dr. Graham Carlos is rounding in the hospital on Thursday. There are patients who are actually admitted to the hospital, but having to wait in the emergency department because there's no beds. Beds are full, staff is tired, and resources are stretched. It's a reality across the city and one extending to both big and small hospitals throughout Indiana. Here we are in January of 2022, and I'm not worried of dying of COVID. I'm vaccinated. I'm worried that something else could happen to me, like a car crash on my way home from work, and that the healthcare system is too taxed and over over full that I wouldn't have the ready access to care that I might normally have. In preparation for what may come, Eskenazi secured a refrigerated truck to expand its morgue. National Guard remains on site. IU Health and Community Health also have trucks on standby. It's a lot of pressure on hospitals. They're pretty much at their capacity and, and beyond. Economist Micah Pollock notes ICU bed usage is one of the most important numbers to watch. On the 11th, less than 10% of ICU beds were available statewide. In District 5, which includes Marion County, that number hovered around 5% and it was even lower in other areas. We need places to put people and the staff to be able to take care of them and we just don't have that now. So now is you know, a terrible time to get sick for anything, let alone for COVID. Central Indiana is a hub for major health systems in the state and therefore a place other areas rely on to transfer patients who may need specialized care. But when numbers are looking like this, that's simply not an option. If we can get community spread down, then that opens up a lot of options that we simply don't have when you know there's a wildfire raging through the state and our hospital systems are being overwhelmed. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. While the COVID surge is ongoing in Indiana, some relief could be on the way. IU Northwest economist Micah Polak told our Nikki Dementri the data and analytics he studied show this dramatic surge may not last too much longer. From what we're seeing from other countries, this Omicron wave is going to be you know, very severe, but it will be brief. And so I think that that's important to remind people. It, it's hard to tell somebody, okay, well, we're going to have to you know, introduce all these mitigations and ask you to stay home for months at a time. And with Omicron, that's definitely not the case. I mean, we're looking at a very clear, steep rise in cases that will probably peak and decline soon, uh, probably by the end of January at the absolute latest. And so we really just need to hang on a little bit longer, you know, so wear a better mask a little bit longer, avoid social you know, situations where you're with a lot of people just a little bit longer and hopefully by February cases will have dropped a lot to the point where we won't have our hospital systems overloaded and you know those that want to try to avoid getting infected are, are able to realistically. Again the peak of this COVID surge in central Indiana is expected in a couple of weeks. Experts say maybe late January or early February.